So guys, I'm back with another video for you. This time I will be specking out my Urus Performante. Uh, let me give you a little background story. I think on TikTok I've mentioned it. I don't think I've mentioned it on YouTube yet. Basically, earlier in the year, I ordered two Uruses, one for myself and one for my wife. The reason for that is because we've always wanted Uruses and we've been late on the list, so we would have to wait a few years to get them. So what we did is we decided, mm, what car was that that just started up? My neighbor has some really nice cars. I think that's a Maserati. Anyway, what we did is that we ordered um, two Urises, Urus Performante and an Urus facelift. I will be getting the Performante. She'll be getting the facelift. But for now, we might both be getting the Performante. Here's some background on the Urus Performante. Uh, it's basically the same car as an Urus, same chassis, same engine. The engine has been tuned slightly, so it puts out about 20 horsepower now. <laughs> not 20 horsepower, 20 horsepower more. So 656 horsepower is what we're looking at at the moment. I believe torque stays the same when they've cut 40 kilograms of weight from the car. They've done this weight saving by removing a few elements. So now we've got fixed spring suspension, weight saving, but also uh, it provides a more uh, intuitive driving experience. Also carbon fiber elements, carbon fiber roof, uh, titanium exhaust, other bits and bobs like that, removing of sound deadening. So uh, yeah. The, the, the stats don't seem that different to the regular Urus, but they've tuned the car now to perform better uh, on high intensity uh, situations. So if you take on the track, like you do, take your 2000 kilogram SUV on the track. If you take on the track, you're going to notice the increase in performance, increase in handling. Um, I believe they've probably put shorter gear ratios from what I've heard from my Lamborghini uh, dealer. So yeah, it should be a lot more fun to drive and they've removed all the off-road modes because no one uses those. Um, and they replace them with a rally mode, which makes the car rear bias, um, rear, rear wheel bias. So it gives you a lot more slippy experience when driving it. Uh, other than that, again, it's pretty much the same car. Originally I saw it and I thought, oh, that, wow, it looks, it looks nice. Like it just looks like a Urus with a few bits stuck on it. But then I really got into the nitty gritty and I was like, oh, it's pretty cool. I mean, I think what I'm gonna do for my wife is speak to her a bit more and see if she'll take the Performante or she'll take the facelift. For me, it's something about the facelift being a more modern version of like, not modern, a more updated version of the previous Urus seems really appealing. And the fact it will have air springs will be a bit more comfortable, but you know what, I'll speak to her, we'll find out. But for today, I'm just gonna spec the two Uruses. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm just going to freestyle it. I've already done bits and bobs on my TikTok. If you haven't checked that already, it's Tommy Music on, on TikTok. People always ask what I do for a living. As you can see, I'm in my home studio right now, uh, specking cars. So let's go. <laughs> so as we start, you have the basic Urus. I've just started with the basic specification. So white, uh, basic rims, basic body parts, everything's just standard. So first things first, as always, color. So originally, I wanted Arangiao Borealis, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing these right. You have to forgive me, I'm not, my Italian's a bit rusty. So originally I wanted this color, and then I saw Giallo Uge, and I thought, hmm, a metallic um, uh, yellow might look really nice, compared to like obviously the flat yellow that I've always seen around. But some things made me say, stick to what you wanted originally, so I've changed my mind again, and I think I'm gonna go for Arangiao Borealis. Ranchiao Bolliaris. I'm not sure if I'm not, please forgive me. When it comes to rims, rims, I, I just always get the biggest, <laughs> biggest rims because they, big rims look nice on cars. So I'm going for the 23s as opposed to the Sirenius 22s. The reason I'm doing that is because, again, I want it to look nice, even though the 22s are the performance rim and that way you can get the Trofeo R tires. I'm, I, I'm not really fussed. I want just the nicest looking. So I'm getting the 23s. 23 inch rims, let me go to calipers. Uh, calipers, the car's orange, so orange calipers. Nothing really goes with orange. Um, I was thinking yellow, but I feel like there's a bit of a clash there. So I'm gonna go with the orange calipers. Uh, when it comes to the top view of the car, I was gonna get panoramic and people were like, get panoramic and everyone's gonna be like, get panoramic, get panoramic. But those that know, know because it's the performance variant of the car, Lamborghini even themselves suggest not panoramic and instead get the carbon roof, which I'll come to later. Plus, the, the the panoramic is pretty much just a sunroof. It doesn't extend all the way, and it's not really that impressive to me, but yeah, uh, no, I'm not getting that. Uh, so instead, I'm gonna get the carbon fiber roof uh, and all the carbon fiber elements. So 
I'll just get every single carbon fiber and I'm getting the carbon fiber hood. The reason I'm doing this is because I, it, this is an Urus performance that you want it to be differentiated from the standard Urus. And if you just get it with all the standard Urus bits on it, what the hell is the point of spending the extra cash? So yeah, I'm going to get it with all the carbon fiber bits aside from like the unnecessary ones like the B pillar and the fender grill and yeah, all those random bits and bobs. But yeah, um, when it comes to the appearance of the car, that's pretty much all you can customize, which is interesting. I thought there'll be a lot more um, things that you could tweak with, like when you joined me on my Can Turbo GT spec in, I had a lot more to play around with. But I mean, this, this looks gorgeous though. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at this at all. Um, let's look at it from the outside. So yeah, no, it looks pretty sick, I think. If I load it up, <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty sick. Um, orange looks gorgeous. The rims look good. All the carbon fiber elements look good. I'm going for shiny carbon fiber because I'm going for um, metallic paint uh, with gloss over it. It wouldn't make sense to go for matte carbon fiber, I feel, if the car is shiny. If the car was matte, then maybe. So yeah, that is pretty much what my Urus is gonna look like from the outside. Let's go to the interior, see what we can do in here. So, uh, Regular leather, Alcantara. I'm going to get Alcantara because, again, performance. Performance variant. Not because I need it to perform, but I feel like when it comes to resales, that's going to help it to hold its value. Because, yeah, you just get the bits and bobs that are unique to this variant. So I'm going for the, the, the black interior because you have to. But I'm going to go with the orange inserts everywhere. And I think that looks pretty cool. If you guys comment, let me know if you think orange is the right color. I think it's the right color, but let me know what you guys think. But I think this looks pretty cool. It looks pretty um, like a pleasant place to be. Shame about the panoramic roof, but again, for me, being the very performance variant of the car, it makes sense not to have the uh, panoramic roof and instead have the carbon, similar to the Kanji Turbo GT, which instead doesn't give you the option to spec a panoramic roof. It just has carbon, and people love that car. Um, <laughs> Uh, extended Performante trim pack on Alcantara. Should I get this? So, quick update. No prices on the um, Lamborghini configurator. You get the prices when you sell your configuration to the dealer. I have an idea of prices. So if you see me saying, uh, uh, it's because I know how much these things cost. For example, what I just clicked on, I believe is a, a 3,000 pound option. Um, side skirts are a 5,000 pound option and so on and so forth. Um, wipers with the nozzles built in are a 1,000 pound option or 700 pound option to be exact. So yeah, I'm just being mindful because although I want it to be like, yeah, the, I want everything that you can get on it on it, but I'm not being stupid because I'm gonna sell this car one day and I don't wanna lose a load of money. Uh, interior, I don't really like the carbon fiber, but again, you can't really spec it without it. Not you can't really, you can't at all, just because it's the performance variant of the car. In this one situation, I would say I would have preferred gloss black. But yeah, it looks pretty good on the interior um, floor mats. Do I want floor mats with the offset color? I don't think I don't think it matters, and they're probably like a grand. So I'll just go with regular floor mats. If I want to change them, I could change them anytime. Steering wheel. I'm gonna go for Alcantara, but with leather inserts because it's more of a daily car. You don't want the Alcantara on the wheel to wear. It's a shame you can't get the orange um, steering wheel anymore or on the Performante. Fully electric front seats, including ventilation and massage. So the car comes with fully electric front seats anyway. Do I need ventilation and massage? Uh, probably not, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm just gonna leave it out, I think. That's probably like a 3,000 pound option if I remember correctly. So no, I'm not gonna bother. I might go back to it, but I'm not too fussed. I have massage seats in the G-Wagon and we just never really use them because it doesn't really massage. It just feels like little cat hands pressing on your back. <laughs> I don't know why, but cat hands is what I got. <laughs> seat belts, orange, come on, you have to have it. Orange interior, I think that looks nice. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Interior details, red door handles, just because Performante. Um, the, the Lamborghini um, configurator looks good. It gives you um, nice angles, but it feels slow sometimes. And don't say it's because my computer's slow, because my computer's not slow. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna get the orange, the red door handle, sorry. See, I was thinking about yellow with the red door handles. Maybe I'll do that spec in a minute, because I was gonna do my wife's spec as well, but. I think I'll do both and then get your opinion. Dark package, so that takes out all the chrome inside the car. I think I'll get that. Mm, 
Is that too dark? Let's see. That is a bit dark. I'll leave the chrome. I'll leave the chrome. It is what it is. Equipment, Bang & Olufsen sound system. Sensonum, I have Sensonum in my SVJ. Sensonum in the Evo. And no, I will get Bang & Olufsen because I can trust them to make a good sound system. <laughs> ambient light package, I just get that in every single car. I love ambient lighting. Um, so when it comes to options now, this is a bit hard because it doesn't really give you descriptions of everything, but I'm getting the full ADAS package, which offers urban road assistant package, highway assistant package, heads up display, park assistant with remote park assist. So pretty much everything here apart from the night vision and the wiper blades. And I'm going to get all of those. I don't really need the white night vision. I don't need the wiper blades. So I'm just going to skip them. Um, Camille loves to watch TV in the car, especially when we park up. So I'm going to get the TV uh, radio, which is a thousand pounds. Um, <laughs> Lamborghini vehicle tracking system. So with high value cars, a lot of insurance companies won't insure it unless it has a tracker built in. You can get it done aftermarket, but I always find it easier just to get it done with uh, the manufacturer and just... My phone went off, some breaking news. But yeah, uh, Lamborghini tracking system, I'm gonna get it in. Premium air quality, not really fussed. Rear seats heated, no one's really ever gonna be in there. Sun blinds, not really needed. Smoker, I don't smoke. Garage door opener. Yes, I've got a gate and I've got a garage, so that'll be good. Cargo management system, not bothered. Acoustic heat insulated glasses. I think they meant glass, unless it comes with some cool glasses. Um, but I was gonna get that, but I saw the I saw the price of it on the price list and I said, no, thank you. Um, high reflective windscreen, or heat reflective windscreen. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I need to get a proper breakdown of what these things do because it feels like I saw an option that was pretty much all those things in one and I'm just confused. So I'm just gonna leave them for now. I might come back to it uh, another time. And I think that's pretty much it. That is the spec for my Urus. So that's my Urus, orange. Um, that looks really cool. I think that looks sick for bar raisers only. Oh, interesting. Um, I think that looks sick. Uh, let me just quickly do the yellow spec I would have done if I was gonna get yellow. And you guys let me know if I should get yellow or orange. So if I was gonna get yellow, I would do da, 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 Chialo Ouge. I would get my brake calipers in red instead of um, instead of um, yellow, just to have a nice little offset. And then my interior, I would get in uh, yellow. Would I get it in yellow? Or would I get it in red? I'll get the interior in yellow. Yeah. That, and that's how I would do it. If I was gonna get, um, if I was gonna get the car in yellow, let me know what you think of which color. Oh, the yellow does look nice. Ah oh, man, I don't know which one. I guess it's gonna be a surprise for you guys because I'm not sure which one I'm gonna get. But either yellow or orange. But I think the yellow looks really good. Um, do you want to see my wife's spec? It's pretty much everything the same apart from she likes this color, which I actually like as well. Viola Mithra, so it's purple. I think it's a gorgeous, it's like a pearlescent purple. I think that looks incredible. Brake calipers, uh, we would get the brake calipers in, if you have a purple car, you can get brake calipers in pretty much any color. Yellow, like LA Lakers, that looks good. That looks good, that looks real good. You can even get it in green. That's, my friend um, Alec has a performante purple with green calipers, that looks good. I think yellow, I think yellow's good. And then interior for my wife's car, would be, uh, do they do a purple interior? No, yellow, because the brake caliper's yellow. And that would be my wife's car, and I think this is my favorite one. I would have got the same for my car, but I didn't want to spend the 10,000 pounds on the uh, Ad Persona paint. That looks flipping gorgeous. Maybe I will spend the 10,000, maybe we'll have two purple ones, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so that's my spec for both of our Urises. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get my wife the Performante or the facelift. We're going to discuss and figure out what will be better suited for her lifestyle. And that would probably just be the facelift. But yeah, I think these are really cool looking cars. Sorry, this isn't as in-depth as the Porsche video. The Porsche options are extensive and someone's at my front door. But yeah, um, thank you for joining me. Let me just open my front door, figure out who it is. It was my delivery, which my wife is going to get. But yeah, thank you for joining me. Um, this is a, a lot more simple. 
Um, if you want to see my spec for any other cars, I will be uploading them. So I'm going to try and do specs midweeks and um, on the weekends do a proper video. Where I, when I run out of cars to spec because all my orders are locked in, I will instead do something else. But yeah, I uh, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you another time.